freeways, traffic violations and route planning. You will learn in this lesson the following topics. Rules of freeways. Lane discipline. Do's and don'ts. Common traffic accidents and offenses. Planning for suitable route. Sufficient time for journey. Selecting best routes. Deters to avoid congestion. Eco-friendly driving. Driving on freeways. A freeway is a high-speed multiple lane road. Traffic, traveling in opposite directions, is separated by central dividers and there are ramps for entry and exit. Speed limits are usually higher on freeways and traffic can be heavy, so driving is demanding and can be dangerous. When traveling on a freeway, ensure that you maintain your position in your lane at all times. When traffic is light, you should drive in the far right lane unless you have to overtake a slower motorist. In heavier traffic, you may travel in the center lane. Never travel in the left lane unless overtaking. Once you have overtaken the slower moving vehicle, return to the center lane. You must not overtake on the hard shoulders of the road. Unfortunately, many vehicles using these roads travel at speeds well above the legal speed limit. As a safe driver you will not be doing this, but you need to realize that these vehicles will approach you very fast, seemingly from nowhere. It is critical that you are checking your mirrors constantly to look out for them. They represent a very significant danger. As traffic is moving at high speed, it is important to keep scanning the road to see what other vehicles are doing. Use your mirrors frequently and make sure that you check your blind spot before changing lanes. Freeway speeds can be dangerous, never change lanes without checking your mirrors first. The maximum speed limit for cars on freeways is 120 km per hour where signed. For trucks, the maximum speed limit will be 80 km per hour if signed. Where signed, there is a minimum speed of 60 km per hour. Except in the case of an emergency you should not. Operate a non-motorized vehicle on or near a freeway. Walk on foot on or near the freeway. Stop or reverse your vehicle. Drive at a speed unsafe for the lane you are traveling in. Stop, park or drive on a shoulder, central divider, or roadside area. If you must stop, move to the edge of the road and put on your hazard warning lights to alert other drivers. Operate a non-motorized vehicle walking. Stop or reverse. Drive at an unsafe speed. Stop on a shoulder or roadside area. To safely return to the freeway after pulling on to the shoulder or central divider area in an emergency, wait until there is a large gap in the traffic. Then increase speed while still on the shoulder, check your mirrors, signal and check your blind spots for other vehicles. Move into the nearest lane when it is safe. You will need to increase your speed to that of the freeway traffic as soon as safely possible. Entering the freeway. When on the entry ramp, you should signal your intention early and check mirrors and your blind spot to merge safely. Ensure that you keep a safe space behind other traffic as they may stop suddenly. As you drive along the entry ramp, you may need to increase your speed so that you are traveling at the same speed as the freeway traffic. Time your merge so that you do not cause any other vehicle to have to alter its path or speed. Once you have completed the merge, ensure that you cancel your indicator. When traveling on a freeway, ensure that you maintain your position in your lane at all times. When traffic is light, you should drive in the far right lane unless you have to overtake a slower motorist. In heavier traffic, you may travel in the center lane. Never travel in the left lane unless overtaking. Once you have overtaken the slower moving vehicle, return to the center lane. You must not overtake on the hard shoulders of the road. There are a number of signs on freeways that provide information about exits, routes, travel distance and destinations. Road markings will assist in making sure you are in the correct lane for where you want to go. Do not make unnecessary lane changes. Take note of the signs and plan ahead for your exit. 
leaving a freeway. Exit signs are there to assist you to choose which lane to drive in depending on your destination. Make sure you are in the correct lane well before your exit. Ensure that you signal your intention to exit the freeway. Once you are on the exit ramp, you should slow down and obey the speed limit that applies to the road you are entering. If you have missed your exit, stay calm and keep driving on the freeway until you reach the next exit. Remember, this is a high-speed road, so you must never reverse on a freeway. It is extremely dangerous and you are also breaking the law. Plan ahead, obey the speed limit and watch out for signs and road markings that will help you to reach your destination. violations, fines and black points. All traffic violations will result in some form of penalty. Penalties include black points or fines that you must pay. Some might also involve your license being suspended or cancelled for a period of time. The black point system was introduced to encourage safer driving practices. If you exceed 24 points in a year you will have your license confiscated for three months the first time you do so. If you reach 24 points in a year again you will have your license confiscated for 6 months. If you reach 24 points in a year for a third time your license will be confiscated for 12 months and will not be given back until you pass a special course at a driving school. Below are some of the serious and common violations you should always avoid as the number of black points and fines for these violations are very high and you may lose your driving license. Driving under the influence of alcohol, drugs or similar substances. Fine will decide it by court. You get 23 black points. Not stopping after causing an accident that resulted in injuries. Fine will decide it by court. You get 23 black points. Driving a vehicle without number plates. Fine will be 3,000. You get 23 black points. Dangerous overtaking by trucks. Fine will be 800. You get 24 black points. Falling or leaking load. Fine will be 3,000. You get 21 black points. Causing death of others. Fine will decided by court. You get 12 black points. Driving dangerously racing. Fine will be 2,000. You get 12 black points. Reckless driving. Fine will be 2,000. You get 12 black points. Exceeding maximum speed limit by more than 60 km per hour. Fine will be 1,000. You get 12 black points. Causing a car to overturn. Fine will decided by court. You get 8 black points. Causing serious injuries. Fine will decided by court. You get 8 black points. Jumping a red light. Fine will be 1200. You get 12 black points. There are many other violations that result in either fines or black points. The fines or black points may not be as large as the ones listed here. However, they are all important and as far as black points are concerned can quickly accumulate. Make sure that you have knowledge of these violations by visiting the RTA website. Plan ahead. Planning your route won't just only save you money but fuel too, thereby reducing your emissions. There are now countless social media accounts solely reporting on traffic news and updates, so use these to watch out for congested routes, roadworks and collisions to ensure you have a clear and quick journey. Not to mention stress-free. You should always weigh up a motorway route against a more direct rural route, which may save a couple of minutes but would use the most amount of fuel. Eco-friendly driving. With more vehicles than ever before now on the roads, 
We are experiencing severe health impacts and cost consequences. Motor vehicles contribute to an estimated 21% of our overall CO2 emissions. Eco-friendly driving means driving in a way that saves fuel so that there is less harm to the environment. It can also save you money. Put your money in the bank instead of the fuel pump. There are obvious maintenance tasks you can do to minimize your fuel use. Keeping your car tuned, changing your air slip and keeping your tires properly inflated, all add to savings at the pump through reduced fuel use. But did you know that another huge fuel saver will not cost you anything at all? That is right, it is free, and you can start right now. This important change involves your everyday driving habits. Believe it or not, the way you act behind the wheel can really affect how much fuel you use. Saving fuel while you drive involves a less aggressive attitude behind the wheel. It is also a safer way to drive. Harsh acceleration and braking can use up to 30% more fuel and can cause increased wear and tear on the vehicle. Careful motorway driving will improve safety and traffic flow. These easy tips can really make a difference. Accelerate more gradually. The harder you press the accelerator, the more fuel you are pouring down the hole. A smooth driving style can save up to 10% of fuel used. Braking. Any use of the foot brake should be smooth and positive. By looking well ahead, you are able to see things happening which would require you to brake. Be prepared. Take your foot off the accelerator and start braking early. Change gears earlier. If your car has a manual transmission, try changing gears at a lower engine revs or move to a higher gear earlier. Move into higher gears reasonably quickly. The higher your engine revs, the more fuel it burns. Cars with manual gears are generally more fuel efficient than automatics. Engine speeds should be kept relatively low. An engine speed of around 3000 RPMs can save a lot of keep your speed down. As driving at 80-100 km per hour means your emissions will be lowest. Driving over 110 km per hour will rapidly increase your emissions. It can cost you up to 25% more in fuel to drive at 100 km per hour compared to 80 km per hour. Keep to all legal speed limits and plan well ahead for changes. Try not to beat the lights. The chances are that if you stop at a red light and then try to beat all the following lights, you will use more fuel and may still have to stop. If you drive at a more sedate speed you will usually find that by the time you reach the next light it will have turned green again. Take the time of day into consideration. If possible, stagger your work hours to avoid rush hour traffic. Sitting in stop and go traffic is the biggest waste of fuel there is. Try leaving home for work a little earlier. You will avoid some traffic and impress your boss. Maintaining the correct air pressure in your tires saves fuel and money. An engine speed of one thing you can do to stretch your fuel is to check your tire pressures. Low tire pressure will make the tires drag and use more fuel. Look in your owner's manual and see what the recommended tire pressures are. Check them every time you fill up with fuel. Think of it as adding an extra 2 liters to your tank for free. Lane Discipline Speed limits are usually higher on freeways and traffic can be heavy, so driving is demanding and can be dangerous. When traveling on a freeway, ensure that you maintain your position in your lane at all times. When traffic is light, you should drive in the far right lane unless you have to overtake a slower motorist. In heavier traffic, you may travel in the center lane. Never travel in the left lane unless overtaking. Once you have overtaken the slower moving vehicle, Return to your lane. Overtake. You must not overtake on the hard shoulders of the road. Unfortunately, many vehicles using these roads travel at speeds well above the legal speed limit. As a safe driver you will not be doing this, 
but you need to realize that these vehicles will approach you very fast, seemingly from nowhere. It is critical that you are checking your mirrors constantly to look out for them. They represent a very significant danger. Final check test for lesson number 6. Final check test for lesson number 6. 70% of total questions must be answered correctly before you proceed to next lesson.